Rhapsody of Realities, Daily Devotional, Wednesday the 19th of June by Pastor Chris. The topic, Practical Wisdom. Our first verse. In whom we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins, according to the riches of his grace, wherein he hath abounded towards us in all wisdom and prudence. Ephesians 1, 7-8. In Ephesians 1, 7-8, the Apostle Paul unveils a profound truth. Every kind of wisdom has been lavished upon us in Christ. Read the 8th verse in the Amplified Classic. It says, Which he lavished upon us in every kind of wisdom and understanding. Practical insight and prudence. Pause and let the weight of this revelation sink in. Recall the words of Jesus in Matthew 12, verse 42. He said, The Queen of the South shall rise up in the judgment with this generation, and shall condemn it. For she came from the uttermost parts of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon. And behold, a greater than Solomon is here. Solomon was given practical wisdom. It's the same word that's translated in our theme verse as prudence. The Greek Septuagint tells us that the wisdom that God gave to Solomon was phronesis. In Luke 1.17 it's described as the wisdom of the just. And he shall go before him in the spirit and power of Elias to turn the hearts of the fathers to the children and the disobedient to the wisdom of the just to make ready a people prepared for the Lord. Phronesis is practical wisdom and it's available to us in Christ. Christ has been made unto you wisdom from God. That practical wisdom empowers you to apply, utilize and immerse yourself in various fields with divine insight, whether in politics, law, business, medicine or any profession, you become exceptional. This wisdom is a spiritual elixir that locates you within the framework of God's will, beyond your natural understanding, causing you to do God's things God's way, in God's time for God's purpose. It's also a mindset, an excellent mindset that causes you to think in a certain way and to say the right things in the right way at the right time, for the right purpose in the right place. Hallelujah. Let's say this prayer confession together. Repeat after me. Dear Father, I affirm that in Christ I have access to practical wisdom. I walk in divine wisdom. I do and say the right things at the right time, in the right way for God's purpose. Christ, my wisdom, effectively works in me to produce fruits and works of righteousness to the glory of God. Hallelujah.